In this video, we're going to prove the memoryless property of the exponential distribution. So let's say t follows the exponential distribution with parameter lambda. We're going to prove the memoryless property, which is just this statement below. So what this means is that you can think of t as waiting time. So let's say this is the number of seconds we need to wait before we get a, our next phone call or something like that. So the memories, memoryless property states that if we wait for more than a seconds, the probability that we need to wait for an extra b amount of seconds is equal to the probability of just waiting more than b seconds right at the start. So you can see that having this past experience actually doesn't affect the probability, so which is why it is called memoryless. And this is what we're going to prove in this video. So in order to, to establish our proof, let's just evaluate this expression here. Let's just get a general formula for the probability when we need to wait for more than y seconds. So in order to evaluate this, we just get an integral from y to infinity of the probability density function for the exponential distribution. So evaluating this should be fairly easy. We just take the antiderivative of this e term. So we just get negative lambda here in the denominator, and then we integrate from y to infinity. And of course, y is going to be a positive constant because that's where the exponential distribution applies. So for infinity, this just tends to zero. So we get zero, and then we subtract this by e to the power of negative lambda y, and then in the denominator, we get negative lambda. So in the end, these cancel out. These also cancel out, so we get e to the power of negative lambda y. So this is the formula that we got. Now continuing on with our proof, don't forget that what we wanted to show is that starting from this expression, we want to show that this is equivalent to this right-hand side expression. So let's start with the left-hand side and then using this formula that we just derived, let's see if we can arrive at the right-hand side expression. So we start with probability that t is larger than a plus b, given t is larger than a. So let's just use the, uh, the definition of this conditional probability to rewrite this expression. So the definition of a conditional probability is just the probability that t is larger than a plus a plus b and t is larger than a divided by probability that t is larger than a. So we're just applying the definition of a conditional probability. And then if you take a look at this expression inside, we have t is larger than a plus b and t is larger than a. So if t is larger than a plus b, then it's definitely also larger than a. So if this entire expression, this t larger than a, is actually kind of redundant. We can actually rewrite this expression as probability that t is larger than a plus b. Because this part is redundant, this is already covered by this t is larger than a plus b expression. And then for the denominator, this just remains the same. Now here we're ready to use the, the formula that we just derived. So we know that we know that when t is larger than y, we get this expression. So we just plug it in inside this, uh, this term that we have. So we have e to the power of negative lambda times a plus b. And then the, the, in the denominator, we have e to the power of negative lambda times a. And then these conveniently cancel out. So in the end, we get e to the power of negative lambda b. And of course, we can, going back to this formula, e to the power of negative lambda b, that's just equal to the probability that t is larger than b. And so there you have it. We started off from this expression, and then we arrived at our desired result. And so there we have it. The exponential distribution is memoryless. So essentially what this means, once again, is that if we have waited a seconds already, the probability that we need to wait for b more seconds is just the same as starting off waiting for more than b seconds. So our past that we have experienced actually does not affect the future probability. So that's why this distribution is called memoryless.